Good morning and uh, welcome. My name is Jesus Batista and today I'm going to be sharing my daily life routine with you guys. Um, so what does my daily life routine consist of? Normally it would be myself and my wife here, but uh, she had to go visit some family so she's not going to be here for this video. Uh, honestly she didn't want to be in the video so it works out perfectly. Um, but I'm just going to go through my routine of taking care of my pets, um, doing my workout, which is more of a therapy, which there's a interesting story in there for you guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoy that one. Um, after that, depending on how the weather is, um, study, do a lot of homework, uh, possibly go outside, maybe get some fishing in, uh, enjoy nature, or, you know, just play video games. We'll see what happens. Uh, between all of that, of course, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Can't skip out on the meals. And finally, uh, one of my best friends, uh, him and his wife are having their first child. So if everything works out, have that special treat in there for you guys. If not, you know, with everything going on with the pandemic, uh, gotta be flexible. This is Benji, and he is my 10-year-old Whippet mix. Uh, he's actually a mixture between Whippet and Jack Russell. Uh, my wife actually got him from the pound when he was only like two months old and we've had him ever since he was a little puppy. For a time being, he was actually my service dog. Uh, when my back was really bad, I actually couldn't bend over and pick up anything. Uh, my wife, she's a professional dog trainer and she actually trained him to pick up uh, whatever I would drop and hand it up to me. He would help me close dishwasher, he would help me do laundry by I can hand him things and he would throw it into the dryer for me and close the dryer. Uh, he's a great little boy, but he sadly had to retire from that position uh, due to his back ACLs. Um, the actual joints uh, started going bad, and he ended up having to get surgery about two years ago, and he's still not 100%, so for now he's just my lazy puppy, and uh, he'll always be that. Go back time, Benji. Okay, and now it's time to feed this little guy. I got his food bowl here. And uh, you're gonna see he eats better than most dogs you guys have ever seen. Um, we actually feed him food from this company called The Farmer's Dog, which is actual human food that they cook. And then they prep, pack it, and they overnight it in a pig container uh, that has uh, dry ice in it to make sure everything stays nice and frozen and usually these meals will come in each one's about half a day's worth of food and we give him some veggies added on top of that just to give it a little extra filling that's healthy for him to make sure he stays nice and healthy and uh, lives a very long life. They call me Barry Allen because I am the fastest man around. This is not sped up in any way. Now that Benji's done eating, it's turning to feed myself. So since my wife isn't around, um, my breakfast usually consists of some cereal, fruits, yogurt, Coffee, French vanilla, creamer, which is my favorite. And um, let's see, do I have anything else to add to this? Ooh, let's go with some mangoes. Chopped up mangoes she left me prepped because you know my wife is awesome. <laughs> and um, I think that may be it. Wow, look at how fast I move. I am telling you, this is not sped up whatsoever. This is my actual speed. I get up, prep my breakfast every day this quickly. Better believe it. Next on my to-do list is taking care of Jack-Jack, my little bunny. And cleaning up his cage and making sure he gets fed for today. See, one of my favorite things about Jack Jack is that Jack Jack's actually sweet. He'll come up to me and he'll actually ask me to pet him. He's my good little boy, but as you can see, he's shedding a lot right now. 
And he'll give me little kisses. Oh, thank you for the kisses, Jack Jack. Mm. That's my good bunny. Good bunny. Alrighty, so as promised, I am now going to start my workout routine, uh, my therapy routine, whichever one you want to call it. And I'm actually going to explain and go through my story uh, as I'm doing all that. So hope you guys enjoy this. Okay, now for me to explain to you guys how I became a human cyborg. Um, I actually have a spinal stimulator implanted into my back that's uh, connected straight to my spinal cord. And what it does is it helps mitigate the amount of pain I feel and actually allows me to walk uh, before the surgery, I wasn't able to get around without using a cane. I wasn't able to walk long distances. I wasn't able to sit for long periods of time. Now, I still feel pain, but it's a lot more manageable between my therapy and uh, the surgery helped out a lot. Now you might be asking how did I ended up with my lower back this hurt to the point where I needed surgery and everything at such a young age. Well, I was actually in the Marine Corps for about six years, and during my time in the Marine Corps is when I got diagnosed with disc degenerative disease. Uh, ultimately, what had happened was throughout all the training, all the hiking with all the gear and everything that went on through my Marine Corps enlistment, uh, it caused the actual disease to progress much more rapidly, which ultimately took its toll out on me. <laughs> but thankfully, I still have my arms, I still have my legs, I still have my awesome sense of humor, and that's all I really need. All right, and after I'm done with my therapy and uh, stretches and everything all over there on the ground, I come over to my treadmill and I do about a 15 minute walk, um, 15 uh, to 30 minutes, give or take, how much I can actually handle uh, before I start feeling anything. I, my main focus is I never want to push my back to the point where it starts to hurt. I want to make sure I can get a nice workout in that doesn't actually cause me pain. Um, because of that, I use little three pound weights, um, mostly because uh, since I am in a constant standing state at the moment, I don't want to put any more pressure on my back. So by using light weights and doing repetitive exercises for high reps, it helps me tone and helps me maintain some type of shape. Uh, instead of having to worry so much about um, weight and uh, bulking, I want to make sure I tone, maintain a lower weight uh, so I don't put any more pressure on my back because that's the big thing. And yeah. I do my best to try to make sure that the actual workouts don't put any extra strain. So I do. Um, I maintain the best form I possibly can and by doing that I still get a good workout in without having to you know, strain myself out. Another big thing I do is I try to incorporate my own body weight into the workouts themselves. That way it's another way of exercising my muscles without having to worry about um, putting any extra weight on my body. Alrighty guys. Now that I'm uh, finishing up with my workout right here, my uh, therapy routine, uh, I'm gonna go shower and change into my clean clothes, and then I'll join you guys again after that. Bye. So, good news. Uh, I'm, as I'm on my way to go to Pollo Tropical to get some lunch, my parents call me and they invite me out to lunch. So, change of plans. I'm heading over to my parents' house to go get some good food. <laughs> So not only today were we eating lunch, but we were also taking the time to celebrate my godfather's birthday, which we didn't have a chance to do due to the coronavirus. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Hey. Okay. So I just got back home from my family's house. I had a great time, got to eat some awesome lunch and spend time with everybody, as well as celebrate my godfather's birthday. Um, now that I'm home, fed, and ready, it is time to do some homework. <laughs> Fun times. Now wouldn't it be awesome if you can do your homework this fast every day, all the time? All right, now it's time to take a break from studying. I've got. A 
pretty decent amount of work done and time to feed this little guy dinner. You excited for dinner, Benji? Yes, you are. Alrighty, go bedtime. Go boy, lay down. Wait there, stay. Alrighty, so my original plan was to hopefully go outside and show some beautiful nature I have in my backyard, but it was raining and I got caught up doing my homework and studying, so ultimately, now that it's, what, 8 o'clock, I decided, eh, take a break, I'm done studying for today, and uh, let's play some video games. I'm not going to bore you with too much of this, just little clips of me dying here and there. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering, this is how every game turned out. I died. A lot. Well, after playing many matches and losing all of them, I decided to finally call it in and get ready to go to bed because I'm tired and yeah. <laughs> Alrighty, well, we made it. And now it is officially time for bed. Uh, I'm gonna go and start getting ready for that. And this is where I say good night. I uh, hope you guys have a great night. Take care and thanks for joining me.